Over the past few years, LGBTQ plus characters and stories have become common in the kids and family entertainment space with little controversy. But with large celebration from LGBTQ families with children who have longed to see themselves represented. Disney has tried to represent the queer community either vaguely or in support roles, but recently they have gone a step further and made characters more open. Before we get to the first bisexual lead in Disney, let's have a look at characters speculated or confirmed to be part of the LGBTQ plus community as compiled by Riveted. Ursula Producer and lyricist Howard Ashman, who shaped Ursula, said that Ursula evolved from various design sketches of a vampy, overweight matron who everyone agreed looked a lot like Divine. Divine was the drag queen persona of the late Harris Milstead and was a key player in director John Waters' repertory company of actors, starring in Pink Flamingos and the original version of Hairspray as housewife Edna Turnblad. Cyrus Goodman Cyrus Goodman and Andy Mack was Disney's first character to ever utter the words, I'm gay, in 2019. The show's creator and executive producer Terry Minsky said that Cyrus and his story were largely inspired by Terry's daughter's friends, who knew that they were gay as young as middle school. Oaken in Frozen, Princess Anna goes in search of her sister Elsa, whose out-of-control ice powers have plunged the land of Arendelle into a perpetual winter. She is joined by ice trader Kristoff, and they stop in at Wandering Oaken's trading post and sauna for supplies. When Kristoff haggles with Oaken over the price, he doesn't budge, but offers to throw in free use of the sauna. Looking over, he says, Yoo-hoo, hello, family, to a man and four children within. When Jennifer Lee was asked whether the character was meant to be gay, she said that once they release a movie to the world, they let the world decide. Elsa Elsa's struggles with concealing and containing her growing power were perceived as an allegory for her coming to terms with being queer, and her signature song, Let It Go, has always sounded like a coming out anthem with lyrics such as, don't let them in, don't let them see, be the good girl you always have to be, conceal, don't feel, don't let them know, well, now they know, let it go, let it go, don't hold it back anymore. In Frozen 2, fan Alexis Isabel Moncada launched the hashtag Give Elsa a Girlfriend campaign on Twitter which drew a countervailing campaign in conservative circles. But again, co-director Jennifer Lee was coy about Elsa's sexuality. However, when Disney released a trailer for Frozen 2 in June, Pride Month, it added the momentum to the hashtag Give Elsa a Girlfriend movement, with fans saying that audiences of all ages and all sexualities deserve to see queer characters they can learn from, admire, or emulate. Bucky and Pronk In a scene in Zootopia, Judy introduces herself to neighbors Bucky and Pronk, and Bucky responds, Yeah, well, we're loud. Bronk then adds, don't expect us to apologize for it. Moments later, Judy hears them through the walls. Viewers also notice that Bucky and Pronk have the same last name, Oryx Antlerson. And to clear the air about their relationship, Zootopia co-director Jared Bush tweeted, they are a gay married couple, but they don't yell at each other because they're gay. They yell because they're real. Scar. In The Lion King, Mufasa is burly, deep-voiced, and masculine. But Scar is slighter and is given to effet mannerisms and phrases like, oh, I shall practice my curtsy. He also said that when it comes to brute strength, he's afraid that he's at the shallow end of the gene pool. That was an example of potentially gay coding, wherein masculinity is seen as being reserved for straight men, but not those within the queer community exemplified in this case by Scar. Timon and Pumbaa In an article about the Lion King live-action remake, a writer referred to Timon and Pumbaa as gay lovers, and their fiercely loving and judgment-free romance was marked by the song Hakuna Matata. Timon is voiced by Nathan Lane, who is openly gay, and Pumbaa by Ernie Sabella, and on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert Lane said, Now that gay rights have come so far, in this version, Timon can finally marry Pumbaa and live openly in the Serengeti. Believe me, once you have a warthog, you never go back. Merida Merida is one of the Disney princesses who refused to follow gender roles, and that has led many people to speculate that she is gay. Her love of unprincess-like hobbies, including archery and rock climbing, is sure to strike a chord with gay viewers who felt similarly not like the other kids growing up. She created an autonomous, independent-minded, and indeed pre-sexual or non-sexual character whose principal relationship is with her mother. Governor Ratcliffe In Pocahontas, as the representatives of the Crown left England to settle in what would be known as North America, Ratcliffe stood apart. He is foppish, dressed in a purple doublet with ruffled cuffs and a cape. In a fantasy sequence, his outfit turns white, trimmed with gold lame. Ratcliffe also has shoulder-length hair tied into pigtails with red bows, a pencil-thin mustache, and a soul patch. LeFou LeFou is the sidekick to the arrogant macho hunter Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. In the 1991 animated film, LeFou has a goofy admiration for Gaston, but for the 2017 live-action remake, LeFou was conceived as expressly gay and played that way by actor Josh Gad. Director Bill Condon confirmed the gay character by saying, LeFou is somebody who on one day wants to be Gaston and on another day wants to kiss Gaston. He's confused about what he wants. It's somebody who's just realizing that he has these feelings. And Josh makes something really subtle and delicious out of it. And that's what has its payoff at the end, which I don't want to give away. 
but it's a nice exclusively gay moment in a Disney movie. Maleficent As described by the showrunners in Maleficent, Queen of Evil, Angelina Jolie does a fabulous job of stalking around in an outfit made for a drag queen, casting biting shade and patrician disaffection wherever she goes. She's subject to prejudice and even physical violence once she wanders beyond the borders of her safe space in the fairy moors. She's also the one who delivers the true love's kiss that frees Aurora from the curse. Jafar Jafar, the Grand Vizier to the Sultan in Aladdin, is stately and refined, with a pencil-thin Van Dyke beard, prehensile eyebrows, and dark lids that hint of eyeshadow. Unlike the other men in the film, he wears a robe, not pants, and has a cape, and he prefers to use magic rather than get his hands dirty. And many folks associate this with his sexuality. The lead animator on Jafar, Andreas Deha, who is openly gay, admitted to conceiving of the Jafar character as a gay man to give him his theatrical quality and his elegance. Good luck, Charlie! In 2014, Disney Channel made a daring move to feature a same-sex couple in a season 4 episode of Good Luck, Charlie! Down a Tree. Charlie's having a friend over named Taylor, and Amy mentions that she met Taylor's mom, Susan. Bob then says he met the mom too, but he's pretty sure her name is Cheryl. Star vs. the Forces of Evil in early 2017, Disney XD progressed even more with portrayals of gay love with the cartoon Star vs. the Forces of Evil and the first showing of a same-sex kiss. In an episode titled Just Friends, Star, Jackie, and Marco attend a concert by the band Love Sends. At one point, couples scattered throughout the audience get caught up in the passion of the music, and viewers can see that a few of them are same-sex couples. Toy Story In last year's Toy Story 4, viewers saw two mothers dropping off and picking up their daughter from a daycare center in the background. High Musical The Series One character, Nina, mentions a few times that she has two moms who are named Dana and Carol. Additionally, the choreographer of the play, Carlos and Seb, who plays Sharpe, express interest in each other and dance together in the episode Homecoming, after Carlos asks Seb to go with him to the dance. Officer Spectre Onward is about a pair of brothers who are on a quest to restore the life of their deceased father so that they can spend one last day with him. One side character is a police officer named Officer Spectre, who mentions having a girlfriend and says, My girlfriend's daughter has got me pulling my hair out. This marked Pixar's first confirmed character in a same-sex relationship. Greg Out focuses on a young man named Greg who has a secret. He's gay, and he has a boyfriend named Manuel. He doesn't want his parents to find out, but they might learn the truth when they show up out of the blue to help him pack for his move. Out is one of seven projects from Pixar's Spark Shorts program, which, according to the creator, seeks to discover new storytellers, explore new storytelling techniques, and experiment with new production workflows. Lose Recently, Disney went a step further when they introduced the first bisexual lead character in The Owl House. Luz Noseda, the show's 14-year-old protagonist, is a normal teen who goes on a journey to another world to become a witch. Luz has shown she's attracted to male characters in the show, and in the two most recent episodes, Enchanting Grom Fright and Wing It Like Witches, a relationship between Luz and the recurring female character Amity is explored. It is revealed that Amity had intentions to ask Luz to Grom, their world's version of prom, and the two share a dance together. It wasn't Disney's first time including an openly LGBTQ character in a cast, but up until this point, they have been represented in minor or non-recurring characters. The creator Dana Terrace identifies as bisexual, and she wanted to write about a bisexual character, so she really pushed Disney to allow the character. She tweeted about it and wrote, At first, certain Disney leadership was not too fond of the idea of having an LGBTQ plus character. I was very open about my intention to put queer kids in the main cast. I'm a horrible liar, so sneaking it in would have been hard. I was told by certain Disney leadership that I could not represent any form of bi or gay relationship on the channel. Luckily, my stubbornness paid off, and now I am very supported by current Disney leadership. Disney has always included magic, witches, and other mythical beings in its stories, but the inclusion of a bisexual witch in the new cartoon was apparently a bridge too far for some conservative Christians, and evangelist Franklin Graham and other conservatives called on parents to boycott Disney's LGBT agenda. They've also received backlash for other movies that had open queer characters. For instance, Russian distributors censored Disney and Pixar's first open LGBT character from their animated film Onward. Viewers who watched Onward dubbed in Russian said that the word girlfriend had been changed to the more neutral partner and avoids mentioning Spectre's gender. It was the third known censorship of a gay scene from a foreign film in Russia since the country passed a controversial 2013 law banning homosexual propaganda to minors. Russian distributors cut gay sex and kissing scenes from the Elton John biopic Rocket Man. Similarly, Russia's version of Marvel's Avengers Endgame altered a gay character's description of a date to a less romantic dinner. Disney also removed a brief kiss between two female characters from screening of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in Singapore. Disney removed the kiss to preserve the film's PG-13 rating in that country, according to reports. However, that does not mean that Disney will stop representing their diverse audience in their projects. Disney and Marvel revealed that one of its latest films in the MCU, The Eternals, features a same-sex couple. The film also features the franchise's first same-sex kiss. Marvel also has the first transgender superhero scheduled in Phase 4 of their release. Asked during a Q&A at the New York Film Academy about when a trans hero would appear, Kevin Feige said, 
very soon in a movie that we're shooting right now. Feige has previously spoken of his desire to bring more diversity to the franchise after the success of Black Panther, which was the first superhero film with a predominantly black cast. Even with all the controversy and criticism, Disney has said that it will still try to represent their audience, which includes the queer community. So what do you think of the queer representation in Disney? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. This has been Riveted, and we publish amazing videos daily.